Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my hair transformation. And if you have been watching me for a while, um, there's probably not a lot of you that have, then you know that my hair has gone through a lot of changes and that a year and a half ago, I looked completely different. Um, just to give you some reference, this was me in the beginning of 2019. This is me now. I was 17, 18 years old in that. Now I'm 19, so it wasn't that long ago whenever I had that hair. So today I'm going to tell you guys about my hair transformation, what I had to do to go from that hair to this hair. I've had like a lot of people ask me, like whenever I go and get my hair done, what I get done to it, and just like questions about my hair. So I'm gonna answer all of those questions for you guys today. Starting off, I'm gonna give you guys a short little journey of my hair and what it has gone through. This picture is beginning of freshman year. Um, it was my natural hair color, had not dyed it yet, it was like super healthy. And then freshman year, that was the start of like the icy silver hair. And I know that's an, that's like still a trend right now, but this was like four or five years ago. Um, and like I think 2016, I decided I wanted to go completely silver, icy white. So I bleached my whole head, um, which obviously was very damaging to my hair. Silver is really hard to keep like maintained so my hair wasn't silver for long it ended up just turning yellow but these are the pictures of my hair to the root completely white so the silver hair I had whenever I was 14 so that was five years ago um, it was freshman year I absolutely loved it but it was so hard to keep up with then going into sophomore year I had turned 15 for some reason it was just this like complete flip I didn't want the silver hair anymore but I also didn't want it to be like a natural blonde or like a light brown. I wanted to go very dark brown or like straight black. These are literally the pictures of me in the hair salon when I was 15, dyeing my hair black. I thought it was like, like right now on TikTok, you guys see all those trends of those girls dyeing their hair from blonde to brown. I really wanted to do that because I wanted it to be like the dark mysterious hair and I just wanted to completely flip it. So I went to the salon, I got it dyed very dark and it was a big change for me, but I loved it. I thought I looked super cool. Um, I wanted to keep the dark hair, which I did for like basically the rest of high school. It progressively got darker. I'm pretty sure that first time I dyed it, I dyed it like dark brown. And then I stopped, I stopped going to the salon, which was my first mistake, and I started using box dye, which I should not have done, but I started buying black box dye, and I started dyeing my hair black, which brings me to junior year, which is these pictures right here. Yeah, my hair was very black. I loved it. My sister's hair was black. It was like my signature thing. I just, I, I loved it. I continued to dye my hair black repetitively with this box dye, which was very bad for my hair, which I did not know, but I kept doing it. So then um, I think around junior year, I decided that I wanted a change, but I knew that getting rid of black box dye was really hard. So I couldn't just like, I didn't want to bleach it. I wanted to keep the black hair. So I just chopped it off. I decided I want to go like right above the shoulder. So it was like, it wasn't at my chin, but it was like above my shoulder. I wanted it short. And it was cute, um, insert pictures, but I probably will never do that again. And then I decided, I think, sometime during my senior year that I didn't want black hair anymore. And I wanted to eventually get to like a light brown, but I knew I couldn't do it myself because in between junior year, senior year, when I made the decision to start dyeing my hair lighter, there was some accidental bleach moment with some people where we decided to bleach my head and it ended up orange insert picture that's somewhere between junior year and senior year was my orange hair and then i just wanted to get rid of it so badly so i'm pretty sure i just box dyed right over it to make it a brown and then after that incident i ended up going to a salon which i should have done from the beginning but i went my hair was short and brown and i told her i was like eventually i want to get to like how my hair is now and she was like 
that's going to take you a very long time because you have layers of black box eye on your head right now. And I was like, okay, just do what we gotta do. The first time, my hair was just straight black, short, and I'm pretty sure she just did a full head of highlight and they were like very fine. And then this is what my hair ended up looking like, which was after the first session. And then like a month, two months, I don't know how long had passed, I went back again. I went a couple times, so that first time, I went, it was expensive too. It was like $300 to $300 to do that. And then I went back again and this was my hair after that one. I'm pretty sure she did the exact same thing. I don't even remember. It was like a year and a half ago. And then I went like one or two more times before I left for college. And whenever I went to college, this is what my hair looked like. It was still short. It was brown. Yeah. And between August, whenever I went to college, my freshman year, and then this like March of this year, I didn't touch my hair because I wasn't home and I didn't want to get my hair done. Where I was going to school, I just didn't trust it. So I didn't touch my hair and I let it grow out. I took really good care of my hair that year because it was so damaged that I didn't bleach it. I didn't, I barely ever straightened or curled my hair that year. And then during quarantine, whenever I had to move back home from my college, I started getting my hair done again, which I went to another girl and that's who I go to now. I love her. Um, I'll link her Instagram in the description. Her name is Jess and she does my hair so good. I started going to her in like February or March of this year. I don't really remember. And so the first time I went, um, this is what my hair looked like. And then I ended up getting, I'm pretty sure that first time I went, she just did like a partial balayage. Um, because my hair was still very brown from the root down to like my ear It was still brown and then I think around okay, so this is a picture of me um, March 31st I my makeup looks really good in it But you can see that my hair is still brown and then I just got like front framing What I just got front framing pieces of blonde and then it just balayaged out into the end which honestly looks really pretty i kind of am thinking about getting some more brown so my hair is just not like fully blonde right now and then i randomly decided to dye my hair purple one day and so we don't talk about that um once the purple was gone i got my hair done around my birthday which i got way more blonde in it than i had been getting i'm pretty sure i got like highlights or something that time and so it just lightened it up some and then, sorry, I'm scrolling through pictures on my um, Snapchat memories to remember what my hair looks like this year. This year honestly has gone by really fast. It's kind of scaring me that it's September already. I feel like it was just June. I really want to get lip filler again. So bad. I'm saving up my money to get it. In July of this year, this is a picture of me and my sister. You can see she's still doing the black box dye. I looked exactly like her all through high school and then I decided to start dyeing my hair blonde. Yeah, so in July of this year, I got super blonde. I started bringing it up to the root instead of doing like the balayage. I just kept it that way. My hair looks super blonde. My hair honestly looks blonder in this picture than it does right now. That's kind of crazy. And then I think I got my hair done one last time in August, which made it even blonder, which brought it like all the way around my face all the way up so i got my hair done in august and i was supposed to get my hair done again this week but i canceled it because my roots aren't grown out that bad so i'm just gonna wait a little bit longer and then get it done but as you guys can see like i've never i've never done a full highlight i've never done a full balayage because i still want it to look natural if you look under my hair it's all still brown. I've never, I have not bleached like this part of my hair since high school. I just feel like it looks a lot more natural whenever it's like there's some brown in it, which is why I kind of want to bring the brown back up a little bit. I feel like it, this might be too blonde for me. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like my hair right now or should I darken it up a bit? I don't think I would ever do like a full head blonde. Like I feel like I'll always keep the brown underneath my head but that brings us to right now which this is my hair if you can see i look really pale i don't know why because i literally fake tan too i think it's just this lighting that brings us to right now as you can see this is my hair and then underneath it's still very like brown this is my natural hair color i think one day i'll dye my hair back to be like this medium brown color. I haven't had my hair actually, like my natural color since like freshman year of high school and I kind of want to see what it would look like, but not anytime soon. I like the blonde. I think I'm going to keep it for probably another year or so. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. Who knows? Maybe I'll randomly decide in like a month that I want to dye my hair blue or that I want 
to dye my hair dark again. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah, so the full process of going blonde, I finally got fully blonde in like July of this year and I started doing it in March of last year. So it took me almost a year and a half to go from my black short, like shoulder length box dye hair to my hair right now. So if you're thinking about um, dyeing your hair blonde from black box dye, just know that it's going to take you such a long time. It probably won't take you a year and a half because I did take like a five month break in between because I just stopped going to get my hair done. So I let my hair be brown for a while. Um, so just keep that in mind. That is going to take you a long time if you want to do it the healthy way because honestly my hair is very healthy right now You would think that it's not from how often I do get my hair done Um, that is all that brings us to my hair right now. I don't think there's anything else for me to say Thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys are subscribed and follow me on Instagram Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want a preview of next week's video It has to do with the outfit I'm wearing I did not pick out this outfit. So that's a little hint for what next week's video is gonna be. It has to do with clothes and has to do with someone dressing me. If that, that probably just gave it all away. But um, yeah, make sure you guys are subscribed so you guys can see that video next week. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.